Tina Shively is the only local reporter on the ground in New York City. In a story you'll see only on 8, she spoke to people in the hard-hit community of Breezy Point, Queens. This is literally the end of the road for us driving into Breezy Point, Queens. The community is not only dealing with severe flooding, they also had a six alarm fire that burned more than 100 homes to the ground. The flames started Monday night and spread quickly. They were fed by high winds. Downed power lines increased the danger. Tom Dillon's home was spared from fire, but not from water. We caught up with him as he was dragging a wagon full of supplies to share with his neighbor. It was pretty bad. It was a lot of wind, but the wind and, and wasn't even as worse as the water coming. It was, that was the weirdest and scariest thing I ever had to see. Dillon's family is staying in New Jersey until it's safe to bring them home. We saw people so desperate to get out of Breezy Point, they were hitchhiking. But Dillon says he plans to stay put and rebuild. I guess the best thing I can do now is... Uh, just go on from here. Security here on the Barrier Island tell me that they did take steps to prepare for Hurricane Sandy, but they never imagined damage like this. In Breezy Point, Queens, Tina Shively, News 8. After